In a dimension that is vastly different from ours, you could say it is simply unimaginable. There is a secret organization, sworn to protect all Minecraft worlds from any kind of danger. Its heroes are the interdimensional agents who are dispatched through space and time to bring light into every dark corner and leave no hiding place for evil of any kind. Selfless soldiers that are a beacon of hope in a sea of despair, the needed help and salvation so many are waiting for. True and pure legends one can hardly dream to exist. That however is, what it says in the children's books. The reality, is a bit more complicated I shall say. to our destination and detach! Uh, problem! I can't detach the booster! No! How the heck do we make it stop? A Sol U Batnaf booster is a super powerful rocket booster, meant to move the orbit of an entire planet to a more convenient or more sunny one. Its fuel load is carefully calculated beforehand, because all that monstrous power has a price. Once it is burning, there is no other way of shutting it down, than letting it run out of fuel. Under no circumstances it is allowed to fire up such a booster to propel a small vessel, just to make it to that mission appointment one is late for. We can't, but at least we won't be late! <laughs> the Hamumbria. A vast and lifeless desert world, where nothing grows, and no life dares to live. A perfect neutral ground. While the last preparations are coming to an end, for a historic event of setting up a contract that will merge two species into a forever peaceful and symbiotic new life form, our two agents are impatiently awaited by the leaders of both species, to assist with communication during the process, and writing the contract. Our two agents did arrive on time, but still need to let the booster run out of fuel. So they circle around the target area, leaving a bright trail of gas behind them. That in itself is not a problem as it isn't toxic. But unfortunately the trail of gas paints an ancient symbol into the sky, fulfilling a prophecy that calls for immediate and unconditional war. No 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 listen to me li listen to me. This is not a sign of the gods, but literally just rocket poo. Today is your big day of everlasting peace. Don't just throw that away for poo. Nice. Look, 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 look. War simply is not worth it. It's a long and sad road with only losers waiting at the end. It's working. Keep it up. Peace is the only way. With war, you'll just end up in a completely destroyed and unlivable world no one can or wants to live in. You might as well just nuke your whole world. And the only difference in terms of war is that nuking is way faster and Wait. more effective. What? Oh, I heard it when I said it. Um... Uh-uh. Don't press it. Don't press it. Yeah. Listen, there are other... Kind of rough. D don't. Don't. No. Oh, crap. Let's get out of here. Control won't be too happy about that. But at least we had a great ride. Oh yeah, that was pretty awesome. Ha! And we don't have to stand in the desert the whole day, writing some shrimp shrub blur blur blah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's mission control. Your turn. What? No, no, I did it last time. No, it's your turn. No, it's your no, turn. It's definitely you this time. No, no, no. Oh, come on. <laughs> And just like that, the entire world, including the two species, now got obliterated for good. What fortunate coincidence, that the communication skills of our two heroes, now will get another chance to shine, in their new mission, where a meeting with the Topians is about to take place. Oh, by the way, I used your toothbrush to clean the toilet. You did what?! <laughs> Dimensional agent! What you gonna do? Do I